Hello, Oz. To make sure welcome back to some more Magicite. In the last episode, I died. Is anyone really surprised here? You? No. Me? I'm not surprised. I mean, I kind of suck at this. But I have a strategy now. Strategy being, don't take unnecessary damage. Now, that might sound simple, but I realize there are enemies in this game I really do not need to kill. Things like slimes and pigs I can kill, because I need the um, herbs to make potions and I need the food to not starve. Things like the boars with the tusks that are running around, the pissed off bears as I'm calling them now, I don't really need to bother with them. Same with things like spiders and bees, they just drop useless resources. And as such, I'm going to be ignoring them from now on and just wandering on past them. I'm also going to be using the... Eh, do I want Berserker Straw from... I'm gonna go with Mushroom Hack because that looks absolutely adorable. And eh, no companions unlocked. I think I have to beat the game in order to get any of these things. After reaching District 15 in a single... I could maybe do that. Let's go for a regeneration fairy. Let's see if I can somehow get that. I have gather and I have healthy, which means plus two hit points, which means plus five hit points. Four attack and magic equals. Let's go with this guy. I'm feeling safe with this. An earth fire forest. That does not exactly sound safe. When you mix the words fire and forest together, that sounds very dangerous, actually. Okay, I also want to try and beat up bushes more often because they drop stuff like shrooms, which would help out. And I think I just got a, a dynamite blade there, which is very nice. So, maybe, uh, see, I'm already going back on what I said, maybe killing random enemies to get the money to buy an axe and cut down some wood. I could make a dynamite sword using that. For now, though, I will just focus on the pigs. Although you get paid so much and so much experience for kill killing these guys, but it's so risky. Okay, got a critical there that helps. Um, yeah, I can't really find a safe place to go in with these crushy blocks all, all over the place. There we go. Yeah, look at how much money that thing drops. And I guess they technically do drop food. Bees, however, I'm not going to be playing with. Bees can go to hell. So I don't really need an expensive axe, I just need one that'll let me cut down wood. Doesn't require that much wood in order to make a sword hilt, and having that dynamite blade and having the dynamite sword with this character who has massive attack, that would be rather useful. Just, just fight for that out there. It also seems that herbs are in this one now, but it seems like herbs are very rare to drop from plants. It's mostly just mushrooms you get. And how many mushrooms do I have right now? Four. Okay, this gives me a chance to test something. I saw a comment on the last video. Apparently, you can craft potions using two small potions. That makes a big potion. Okay, I will definitely start doing that now. Ah, oh, crap. It wasn't a dynamite blade. It was a goldium grape blade. That could still be useful, I think. It sounds good. If it sounds good, it must be good. Or maybe it's absolutely horrible. One of the two. I heard of shrimes. Or I heard of shrimes. Yes, I heard of slimes over here. So this gives me a chance to get some more herbs in, and I'll drop me an entire potion. Okay, good. And we made it to the end of the first district, and no chances to progress here. So let's just carry on here into District Two, Rockwood Forest, and murder everyone's chickens. Say goodbye to your livestock. I'm here to ruin your entire life. Okay, I'm at save point. Go ahead and make another potion here. Go ahead and make a big potion. Put that in the inventory. I'll also put in the small ones. Don't really need this monster hide sort of chilling there. He is selling a bone axe, but that costs a hundred. Okay, I'm gonna have to sell you some stuff. Have some raw chicken. There we go. Perfect. So the livestock went to good. The livestock went to good use because I'm now going to be purchasing an axe with that money. I'm pressing the W key. Yes, I'm pressing that W key. I assure you. There we go. Okay. Going on here into District 3, Bushfang Forest. That sounds a little bit better than fucking forest that's on fire. Get out quick. Put over the spider. Don't need to bother with you guys. Actually, now I have that axe, I should probably consider chop or chopping down this tree. Then try and make something out of that Goldium Great Blade, which sounds very dangerous, of course. That amount of wood should be sufficient. There's a sentence I will never say again in my life. Made five sword hilts, yes, because those were necessary. And apparently I can't make a sword out of this. Uh -huh. Okay, that's confusing. Maybe since it's a great blade, it needs something else. That would explain it. I just got two herbs off that one slime. I'm happy about that. My mushroom hat and my gathering skill is paying off, and actually I can use it to make another big potion, so let's go ahead and do that now. All the time, more educated in the ways of this game and how it works. Uh, I should probably keep hold the iron ore. I can refine the stone, so I should probably do that as well. Use that to make a stone blade, why not? 
Actually, there we go. Here's a use for it. There we go. That's an improvement from the bone sword, I think. Four attack. Well, this one has more durabil durability. Fuck off. Okay. Coal, which is obviously going to be useful for me making a fire. So let's go ahead and do that now. I've got to make fire. I'm good at this game. Alright. Can do this, which takes up more inventory, less inventory space, rather. Refine those. Why is it shining? Refined stone shines, or bones shines. That's strange. Let me be in. Probably want food in there. Okay, there. That's all done. Did I pick up that bone sword? I think I just picked up the bone sword. Okay, it's gone. Never mind. Let's just carry on here. My goal is to reach District 15 and get a fancy fairy that will come around and heal my life. And to do that, we don't really need to loiter around this very much longer. We've gotten pretty much what we needed now. We have the axe. We've confirmed that the blade we picked up was useless, so let's just jump over all this. No time for sightseeing. We want to make progress this episode. Because we haven't done that thus far in this Let's Play. That was a horrible pause. I, I, I apologize greatly. Where am I now? Thankfully I didn't take damage. I haven't actually taken damage yet this run. This is... This is different. Usually I suck more at the game. Skill patch. I'm grabbing the dangerous looking one. I wonder if any of those are actually useful. I'm not even sure how you use skill patches. Do I experiment? Okay, I have no idea. My cat is meowing in the background, I apologize for that. I'm not really sure why I'm apologizing for my cat, though I should make him come in here and apologize himself, but whatever. We have two green slimes here, I'm definitely going to be taken down. And hey, we have an entrance to new districts this time. Of course, those two, as we know, are dangerous. Let's just stick in the forest as much as we can. I'm almost cheating. I'm doing all the easy districts just to get that number up. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that. Small hit point potion, I'll keep hold of. Monster pelt, don't need that. Don't need this. Don't have enough ironite or anything to make any armor yet, so that's a shame. Let's just carry on here. We're we're at a good pace here. We've we've gone through a few districts districts already. I see no need to stop. District five. Fine wild forest. We have ten more districts to go, and then we get a fancy fairy that will come around and presumably make me die. Less often, not d deadly fairy. Kind of hilarious as an easter egg if there was a fairy called Regeneration Fairy that killed you as soon as you brought it out. Bad Regeneration Fairy would be the name for that. I just murdered a big ass spider when I said I wasn't going to murder a spider. I am such a liar. I have lied to you all. Okay, jump over you. Run away from you! Whoa, that was way too close. Okay. Okay, calm down now. The bee's gone. The big bee's gone. That looked rather painful. It kind of looked like the sting was in contact with your body there, but I guess it wasn't, so that's fine. Another Goldian blade, except that one wasn't a great blade. Let's see if we can do something with this one. Oh, yes, we can. Attack plus 15. Yes, that is definitely... Yes, that is... That is beautiful. Give me this. Give me all of this. Oh, God, that's powerful. Can I one-shot you? No, not quite. That would be beautiful, but unfortunately, it doesn't appear like that's going to be happening. And I've already hit you once, so I'm going to finish you off now. Your gold and your meat. Thank you. I need pigs are dropping food. Why is food so rare? Well, food's not really rare. I mean, I have more food than anything else in the sim floor right now, but... I have bad luck with finding food in real life. I walked into the kitchen last night, it was like 5 a.m. or something, I was looking for food. So, I was looking around the counters, and I saw this sort of bag thing. And there was a bunch of packets inside the bag. So, my first thought when hungry was, are these edible? I took the packets out of the bag, and on the front of the bag it read, Standard Fireworks. I could very well die one day because of hunger. Not because I'm starving of hunger, just because I tried to eat something and it was dumb. I also somehow managed to kill myself while making toast every morning. It was stuck in the toaster. My logical thought was, okay, get the metal grabby things and take it out of the toaster. <laughs> I'm a danger to society. Okay, we have one of those big scary things, so I'm gonna ignore that. Ooh, sparkly. Firevine Cave. Huh. Something tells me this area is dangerous, and I just basically gave away my life. Should I... I should just throw all this. I really just... I need one more to make any armor or anything, and I just don't have that one more. Oh, but it could be worth keeping on. Or keeping hold of... Okay, I'll get rid of the bone, because I don't really need that. 
A 99 bar there. It's apparently, yeah. Do I need to refine you into anything, or do I just need to that? I think I just need to do that. Let me get rid of the bar. Let's get rid of the bone. Monster pelt wouldn't stick. The sword hilts I don't need. This, because I have nothing for it. Some spider webs. All right, door I shall keep hold of. Dynamite door I shall keep hold of. Coal I shall keep hold of. Herbs I should be making into potions. Good, good. This I don't need, because I have this beauty. And mana I'm not having. I don't have anything to use magic with right now, so I don't really need that. I'll keep hold of it anyway, just in case. Okay, let's see what dangers are lurking in this area. Leaf Grand Cave. Oh, I think I've been here before, and that was apparently a moving rock. It has feelings, too. Speaking of rocks, I should try and get some ironite by mining some. Yeah, we've been here before. This is the area where gigantic spiders kill me. Look how many spiders just roam around my carcass. 12 variant number 2, and a bunch of points. Okay, useless, useless, useless. Useless, well, I was almost English. Let's go for another run here. I'm gonna try and solely rely on just killing slimes and some occasional pigs. Pretty much what I said I was gonna do last... What I said I was going to do last time, except I'm actually going to do it this time. If that makes sense. I'm also gonna grab an iron knife, because I think some armor would help out in the later districts with how much damage I'm taking. Pigs are not being stingy with food, that's not good. I haven't actually realized how fast you can get through a district if you just ignore everything that's in it. Rather than stopping to mine up trees and kill all the enemies, if you can just run through, that works out very well. Yep, come over here, slime. Not that close. Thankfully, didn't actually manage to damage me. Down here seems worth it, almost worth it, but I have to take damage, of course. Just as I said, I was going to be more careful and try to take unnecessary damage, and now suddenly the slimes are becoming the most dangerous thing in the world. Whoa, 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 that's not cool. I don't even have words for that. Well, that happened. We're going to pretend it didn't happen, though. Okay, if I'm speedrunning this and not really paying attention to anything, I don't really need that many resources like food and potions, because I'm going to be trying to avoid most enemies anyway. Although a few of them could get hits on me. Speaking of things that could murder me. Hello there. Do I dare try and take you down? I mean, you walk slow enough that I can get enough hits on you safely. And then you go and do that. Okay. Oh, did that slime drop two HP potions? Yes, yes, he did. How very considerate of him. I actually think I prefer having the little ones rather than the big ones. It just makes me feel safer knowing my stock is higher now. I have to really conserve them. Even if the big ones do end up recovering more. It's pleasing to me to see a, for me to see a bigger number there. Okay. That was a risky jump that I shouldn't have taken, but thankfully it worked out for me. Okay, try and keep those slimes together. There we go. They both out and none of them dropped a herb. Uh, how rude. I would consider a few not to drop me your remains. I tried to beat up a rock with a mushroom. Let's not go into that. Let's not go into my stupidity here. There goes the slime, and again, I think he just dropped me two more potions. The slime's being somewhat generous. That's odd. So now we can make a lot of potions, actually. There we go, seven already. Some raw meat and some coal. Some coal, I promise you I'll never say the word coal like that ever. I DK what I want. You, you sir, are usually classy. Oh, it's, oh, it's you. Like, the guy with the monocle isn't usually the one who says, I don't know what I want. I DK. It's not usually how it works. And that turns out it was just a normal human. Okay, I really want to get some Iron Knight for that armor, like I said at the start of the run that I died on. And again, the bushes. Why is everything glowing? Like, the little bushes that herbs usually come out of. Don't squish me, please. They glow, too. Literally, everything glows there. The trees glow. The rocks glow. The pigs glow. The bushes glow. Everything glows. Hmm. 
this is very interesting. I think I just exited a full screen. You might not be able to tell the difference on the recording, but I just exited a full screen. This is so weird for me. I'm gonna run away from you, even though you're smaller and look less dangerous. You're just as deadly. Okay. This is kind of an interesting way to play, because it's like the screen is more zoomed out, it would seem. Give me that iron eye jump over your face. Okay. Let's just get out of here. Let's just get out of here. I don't feel like playing with the wildlife anymore. I say as I jump down here to murder a pig. Ah, shit. Get away, slime. This is bad. This is very bad. Gonna get the green one. Eco friendly. Okay. There's a chance of getting hurt from the slime, so I'll take him out. And I'll run away in fear of a gigantic dinosaur that is currently chasing me. Why do I keep landing on spiky stuff? Okay. That was horrifying. Oh, one of these things. I don't know what these do. I think it's like a luck fountain thing. I was told about that by a friend. Apparently it killed him. So I'm not gonna be... Even if I had the money, I don't think I'd put it in there. Just wanna get up to District 15. That's all I want. Alright, I have a lot more herbs now, so let's make some more potions. Boom, that's seven. Uh, and let's carry on with our little adventure here. I think this is probably going to be the last one of the episodes. When I die here, if I die, which is inevitable, it's going to happen. I, I suck at this game. I'm sorry, guys. When I die, then I will end the episode off, and we will carry on, hopefully, with more knowledge on how to not die. That was stupid. I just realized I didn't bother going to the... Well, I guess it's probably better to save up the Iron Eye, just in case I need more in the village to make the armor. Good look here. I see a lot of slimes down there, but mine's actually not. It's worth it to go play with them to try and get herbs. I just want to try and make progress here. Landed right on the edge there. That was totally intentional, not just luck. That was skill. My skill of landing. Oh, crap. We have difficult areas. Okay, we'll try the cave again. Because I think if I just ignore everything and don't play with gigantic insects, I'll be good. Can I make some armor before going there, though, because this could be deadly. Alright. Smelt all this. And make ourselves a chest plate. Okay, I feel a little bit safer. Just a little bit, though. And actually, I just realized something I can do here. I want full health going into this, I could just craft one big potion and drink that. Voila! I only have to use up three potions just for that much health. He's selling a single piece of cooked meat, I'm gonna buy that, just... Get that off your shelf, man, that's unhygienic, just have that lying out there by itself. And now we carry on. Deep Grand Cave, we're starting things off here with a locked treasure chest, so that's an interesting thing to see. Hello there, bat. Please don't mull my face off, thank you. Open this up. And there was just a bunch of golden experience, which I guess I can deal with. I'm gonna try and lure this bat down here to make the jump here a bit more easy. A bit more easy, I'm pretty sure easier was the word I was looking for there, but oh well. We'll pretend I can speak proper English and grammar. I don't think that made sense either, I'm just on a fucking roll tonight. Jump over to you guys. I'm not interested in being a part of your spider family, unfortunately. Unfortunate for me or for you, I'm not exactly sure. Yep, check over your face. Hope no spiders come out of these eggs, because I'm always paranoid about that. They look like they're spider eggs, and they look like spiders should be popping out of them left and right, but for some reason they just don't. Which really, and that rock is beating the crap out of me right now. This isn't safe, this isn't safe, this isn't safe. Fuck the chest, get out of here. Get out of here. That was a skillful dodge over that spider, I'm not going to question that. I really hate the cave, it's so dangerous and deadly. And unforgiving. Everything here wants to kill you. Like you, little bat. Don't kill me, please. Okay, I see some entrances here. Uh, two more caves. Uh, fuck it. We're going to a volcano again. Or Velt, or whatever you want to call this area. Okay. That was slightly frantic. But we made it through, and we don't have any more Iron Knight to make it into armor, unfortunately. So we'll just have to deal with that sad fact and move on to the Velt, and most likely die due to fire. 
I'm not actually sure where the felt is. It might be a volcano. I mean, it looks... It's surrounded by mushrooms, really. It's a very warm-looking area with mushrooms and jellyfish that something does words. And pink sheep. I don't think there are pink sheep in volcanoes, though. Apparently, though, there is a dead body, which will be my body. You can look for that. It'll be there. I guarantee it. Well, variant. I'm not exactly interested in variants. I want new characters and battling. That could be interesting. We'll be testing the next episode. Next time, Magic Side will be starting up a new run and hopefully having better luck. This game is being very unforgiving with me. But I'll see you guys then.